Celebrating the legacy of Henrietta Lacks, a cancer patient who was treated at Johns Hopkins Hospital in 1951 and made major contributions to the medical field. Tracy Leong explains why Johns Hopkins Institute is naming a building in her honor. The Henrietta Lacks building will be placed on the north side of the Johns Hopkins Medical Campus and will support programs that promote community engagement as well as research. <laughs> the announcement was welcomed with an eruption of cheers from Henrietta Lacks family, members of the medical faculty, and community. It's a beautiful thing to see so many people come out and support Henrietta Lacks and the family. It's just an awesome experience and, it, like I said, it's touched hard. So we, we are grateful. For the support that we get. In 1951, Lax underwent treatment for cervical cancer at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Without her consent, tissue samples were taken from her tumors, becoming the source of the HeLa cell line, an immortalized cell line still used today for medical research. Having a building on the campus that takes her name is a way that we continue to remind people of the amazing story and the lessons that we here in Baltimore, but indeed across the world, have taken from this woman. Lax died in 1951 at the age of 31, and her family was not aware of her immortalized cell lines until 1975. In 2010, a book titled The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which was made into a movie in 2017 starring Oprah Winfrey and filmed in Baltimore, explained Lacks' story, her impact on the medical field, and important bioethical issues. We learned about ways in which uh, we in should interact with patients, how we think about uh, appropriate patient-oriented clinical and biomedical research. This new building, which will be constructed on Johns Hopkins Medical Campus, will honor Lack's legacy and her valuable contributions to modern medicine. Groundbreaking for the building will happen in 2020 and should be completed by 2022. I'm Trace Leong reporting for WJZ.